Hello, beautiful people. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Honest Am is here, the creator in chief of the Honest Lisa's newsletter. Our honest, <laughs> honest newsletter geared towards millennials who are truly trying to get their shit together. And I am here for a daily motivational video where we use the tarot to become the alchemist of our lives and to teach us how to become spiritual beings. A little bit about me I do not just use the tarot, I use God and Cusses in the same sentence, and I may mispronounce some things, but if it does not stop, Charlemagne the God. It ain't gonna stop me. All right, y'all. Let's go ahead and get into it. God, guardian angels, ancestors, and beings of light. Um, we come to you as humbly as we know how to say thank you. Thank you for allowing us to just be able to connect in this way. Now, what information do you deem worthy for us to hear at this time? To become the alchemist of our lives or to help to bring heaven on earth? Allow no room for doubt and confusion. Ah, shit. Just a little quick little message. Do a little quick message. Get on out of here. One card, please. Okay. Baby telling me, stop doing that. You don't want one card. Huh, that's so funny. I actually pulled this. Uh, I pulled this strength card for myself. Uh, so the card that came out is actually mi um, strength, mystery, and determination. Uh, angel number 121, along with isolation um, and death. So I feel like God is saying, as you are going through this process of transformation, some of you guys may be in trans, um, some of you guys may be in isolation. Um, some of you guys may be feeling uh, rejected. Um, and some of you guys may feel at peace because you are able to deliver. Um, you're able to actually spend that time to pour into your projects. Wherever you are on a spectrum, what God is saying is that this time of transformation is really coming about for you to strengthen your intuition. Um, it's coming about for you to strengthen um, your confidence and strengthen um, how you feel, uh, you know, like your confidence, your accountability for yourself. Like, I, I just want you to know that this time of transformation from now until probably next year, I, I keep hearing this cycle that we're going through. Um, it's all coming about to strengthen you and also to strengthen your connection with the spiritual side, angel number two, uh, 220. And so I feel like what God is saying is that you need to, uh, to in order to reach the mountains that you want to reach, because I'm seeing this, the mountain peaks with a sun coming out, in order to reach those areas, you are going to have to work with the mystical. You're going to have to work with the spiritual side. And so what God is saying, instead of feeling defeated by that, um, you should actually uh, be happy and rejoice in that and get your strength from that. An example of that, <laughs> I'm saying that a lot, but an example is um, I did a, a human design test and I found out that I found out what my human design type is. And a big part of being a manifesting generator is that you have to wait for life to present certain options to you. Um, and if you've been on the channel for a while, angel number 311, you know that I have been talking about, I just feel like I got to wait. I got to wait. I got to wait. And I learned that the, that's why I had to wait because that's a big part of being a manifesto generator about trusting. Like they didn't say it this way, but I know it's about trusting God and trusting the my spiritual side and my divine self to present these opportunities to me. And when I found out that I pretty much can't manifest my, like I can't wheel into my, um, I can't wheel my reality. Um, there's no hard work that I can do. Like there's actually, um, also because I am a, my North node is in a Pisces. Uh, my South node is in um, Virgo. And so it's like, again, North node and South nodes is all about making that, that, that transformation from my Virgo side is this analytical side. It's my accounting side, but my Pisces is the book, is my creative side. And so it's like, you guys are pretty much seeing me make my transition from my South Node to my North Node. And so a big part of that is me realizing that that Virgo side of me, my um, my my uh, airy side of me, it gets shit done, that Mars energy, like that's not going to help me transcend to my next level of life. But what's really going to help me transcend is actually bringing back my energy, trusting God more and really leaning into more of this intuitive, dreamy, fishy, you know, flowy side of my life. And so at first I was really scared because I'm like, what the fuck? Like, I, what do you mean? 
I can't, you know, like, what you mean? I got to wait for life to happen. Angel number 444. Um, and I got really scared because I'm like, shit, do I trust God? Have I trust God? But now it's like, I'm just doubling down on realizing like, okay, so this is, this is my journey. Like this is, this is the test. Like this is how I become who I ultimately need to be. Um, and so it's like, instead of like being scared of it, I started doing sleep hypnosis tracks about, um, trusting God and surrendering and, um, uh, I, I used, I, I listened to like the serenity prayer and I was listening to, um, opening up my heart to receive because also that was another thing. Like I, I mean, I recognize that in my daily life, like if somebody is super nice to me or they just randomly give me stuff, I'd be like, what the fuck? Like why? Like why are they being so nice to me? I remember like my yoga buddy one time she, um, offered to give me a blender and I was like, no, 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 I don't need it. But it's also because I, you know, there's something in me that wasn't accepting things. Like I didn't know how to be received receiver and also that's something that the queen queen cut tarot talk about a lot about uh i used to always say well i'm a receiver and blah 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 but there's also manipulation in that because you control what you receive right but i mean you you control what you give but you can't control what you receive and so it's like i just realized i have to make like this whole mindset shift and it's like instead of being sad or being mad that i have to go through this process it's really about um figuring out those tools that i can use to help me get through this mystery you know get me to get through the mystery of life also um we we had a message come out last week about these spiritual tools and actually applying it like that's why you do that's why you have crystals that's why you do yoga that's why you don't do these things so you can be like i'm a yogi or to be able to do the cool postures you do them because when you're feeling fucked up can you go do yoga you know like this this that's the ultimate test like when you're feeling fucked up if you can't even get on the yoga mat then yoga is not the tool for you like it's not helping you because you're not able to use it you know so it's like, let's get out of like, you know, glamorizing these crystals. If you, if you don't know how to properly apply the crystal, if you don't even put them on, like if you're having a shitty day, if you don't know to put your rose curl in your bra, then what the fuck is the point of you having a rose court? What, just to have it on your table? No, you have to use these tools um, to help you get through uh, your journey um, and help you get through the unknown. Sorry, guys. Angel number 725. I don't know. I just had like a random thing pop up and I'm like, I don't even know you. Um, okay, so let me get some information about these cards. Where's the book? Where the book? There it is. Okay. So, get some more information about this strength and this mystery. Okay, so for strength, this card refers to mental and emotional strength, not just physical strength. It's about finding the inner strength to face your fears, overcome obstacles, and move through difficult times. This card is a call to dig deep within yourself and tap into the parts that are strong and courageous, even when you may not feel that way. You'll discover that you hold the strength to overcome whatever you are going through right now. Um, for some reason, I just want you guys to know, like for me, um, I, I, I talk about this so much on the channel, but I have done so much stuff out of codependency, so much stuff because I didn't want to be alone. And now I'm in this place where I am isolated and where I have to face my fear of being alone. And trust me, I have done so much stuff to avoid it, but it's like, I can't avoid it. I have to just know that this, this phase of my life is not going to overwhelm me. It's not going to kill me. And actually I realized this week, like, this was the first month that I was like really going out and doing all these different things. And I wasn't able to, I, I barely got stuff scheduled for Honestly Swiss. I feel behind. I didn't do any, you know, like I, I have been fucking up on y'all videos, which I truly apologize for. But it was because I thought, I, I, you know, I, I was trying to make myself feel better by going to do things and go out. But honestly, it made me feel worse. Like, cause it made me feel isolated because even though I was going out, I had to come back home and be by myself. So, you know, like, it's like, instead of me denying that I'm alone right now, it's like, I'm just embracing it and being like, I can, you know, I can make it through this. And honestly, it's not about me filling my time with going out, but like just taking care of myself, like just doing things like that makes me like, just, you know, that, 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 um, that just taking care of myself 
is enough to do in its own self. You know, so it's like I just realizing like I, I really realized this week that I had to die to that old way of being things of like where it's like if I'm staying at home, I'm a loser. And it's like, no, it's not that I'm a loser. It's that I need to focus and get some shit done. And I can't be out and about and also be a productive person. I have to choose. OK. And also, I realized that a big part of me about being out and about was because I was scared to be alone. OK. Awareness. Self-awareness is key. All right. Last message is mystery. Actually, I'm going to read this message of determination as well. The mystery card represents the idea that it's okay to not have all the answers all the time. Embrace the various mysteries of life and let things unfold as they are. Surrender to the unknown. And I love that because the message that I did right before this was all about surrendering. So I just really feel like what God is really trying to get you to understand is that, you know, right now, if you're going through transformation, and I feel like a lot of you guys are, you're going to have to face the unknown. You're going to have to face your fears. And if you want to become who you want to become or who you dream to become, you have to do some things you've never done before. You have to valley into the unknown. You have to have these moments of isolation. And so you have to ask yourself, you know, are you going to allow fear to hold you back? Or are you going to double down, stand in your power and see it through? Okay. Last message, determination, determination. Determination can give you the energy you need to reach your goals. This card lets you know that the summit of the mountain is within your reach. Really take a moment to tap into the feeling in this energy. Also, if you're feeling tired, don't be afraid to ask people for help or look at the obstacle in a new way to renew your spirit. And so, um, to wrap up this reading and to keep, you know, keep on with the same thing that we were, that we're talking about. Um, I was actually, uh, because I had to play catch up for work. I was doing a lot of listening to, um, I, I like, I was kind of in my old days of like just being in YouTube and listening to a lot of interviews. I told y'all that I'm super obsessed with like Stella McGee. Um, and I wanted to like get some, like see some of her press footage around Gina Jones, uh, Gene of Jones. And, um, somebody had asked her about her writing process and she was just like, well, I just treat it like a job. Like I get up, I write eight days, a, eight days a week and then I do it again. And I, and I realized like it, what I took from that is like, you have to treat it as a job. I realized that there is no dream job to apply to. There is no person to get like, if I want to be the greatest writer in the world, what I have to do is focus on being the greatest writer in the world. I can't focus on getting on no panels or doing all that stuff. I got to put all my energy into becoming the greatest writer in the world. And in order to become the greatest writer in the world right now, I have to go through a period of isolation and I have to face my fear of being alone. I'm going to do that because guess what? What's more important to me is to reach the great the top of this mountain and to become the greatest writer in the world. You know, like it's like I have to treat it like a job. That's also what I was telling my dad. Like, I'm like, I didn't realize like I was trying all these different paths and I didn't just try to just see this out. I have never, ever just like, let me just finish my book. Let me just work on Honestly Sis. Let me just do these videos on YouTube. I always been like, okay, so now I cannot do this. Let me apply for this. It's like, I've always tried to swerve instead of just seeing it through, making the plan and seeing it the fuck through. And then if it don't work out, then then deal with the outcome of it, okay? So I feel like this message is coming about because God is just saying like, you have to face you, it's, it's, it's on you on how you're going to get through this unknown period. You can be afraid of it. You can resist it. But if you resist it, you're never going to see the top of the mountain. Angel number 1333. So I really feel like what God is saying is instead of resisting the phase that you're in, instead of, you know, resisting your fears, face your fears, go through the journey of the unknown so that you can ultimately reach the top, the top of the mountain place, the, the top of the mountaintops and all those things that are ultimately meant for you. Okay, y'all. I'm actually going to leave that message at that um, because it's like a very like cute little concise message. Put it in a bow. I'm going to end this message with a black angel card. Now, I fixed y'all out, didn't I? Because I'm learning to just go what I hear in my head because at first I was going to do a sacred rebel, but in my head I heard black angel. So I'm like, let's just go with the black angel. Don't resist. And this that's the theme of this week. Don't resist. That's the theme of the month. Don't resist the mystery of the unknown. But we're really stepping into it. Stepping into our face and our fears. No matter what that means. It scares the fuck out of me. 
I hate, I never, I swear y'all, I, I don't want to be alone. Go look around and see sister, you'll see. I done did so much stupid shit just because I, I don't want to be alone. But it's like, in order to become who I need to become, God is like, bitch, you're going to be alone. <laughs> and I literally tweeted like, damn, God is so good because I low-key don't have the energy for nothing but what I'm supposed to do, you know? So it's like, don't resist it. Agent number 1503. Okay, God, clarify this message of mystery, strength, and determination. What are you trying to get us to understand about facing our fears, about journeying into the unknown, and knowing that we have the power to meet the mountaintop? God allow no uh, room for God or confusion. Oh my God, why I'm hearing Prince in my head saying, ain't shit up there? <laughs> what? Oh my God. What the fuck? What is happening? I, I, y'all, I don't know. I got some new. I told y'all I got some new guys on board, and they are hilarious. I live Prince was like, ain't shit up there. Angel number fourteen forty one. He said, ain't shit up there. <laughs> Why? Why ain't shit up there, Prince? Okay, sister girl is the car you gonna focus on. Angel number fourteen fifty three fifty four. Uh, 55. What he's saying is 1555. He's saying there's no need. Uh, oh, okay. He's saying like, don't. It's not about like, it's not about being ambitious. He's just saying like, don't. Um, it's not, it's about like not getting a big head. Like I told y'all I want to be the greatest my writer of all time. And it's not because I'm trying to, you know, isolate myself and put myself on top of this mountaintop, but because this is just what I desire to do, because I really, if I'm the greatest writer of all time, I mean, that my work is affecting and reaching all types of people and it's connecting me with people and making people feel seen, not me putting myself on a mountaintop. So that's what he meant. Ain't shit up there. <laughs> so he like, no, ain't no need for you to try to like, you know, you know, try to, get over people we are one like everything that we doing is not so that you can like you know get up there and be like oh look at you lowly bitches no it's like you climb that mountain for yourself to feel a fulfillment in yourself not to lean over others thank you prince <laughs> that is so funny i'm gonna tell my mama that one you straight k shit up there <laughs> I'm sorry. I've never had, I've never experienced nothing like that. That was funny. I'm sorry. That was hilarious. Okay. So if you selected the sister girl, the external perceptions you have of yourself or how you think others see you can get you into trouble. You have to learn to search deeply within yourself to find out why you have taken on certain roles in life. Authenticity to self and honesty with others is key. It is very difficult to acknowledge that you may not be honest with yourself or with others you love and care for. Um, I actually never read this card, A Sister Friend. Yeah, The Sister Friend. To be honest, y'all, like, honest, um, I, I think, I don't know if I talked about this on this video, but I, I was really feeling a type of way about the reading that I gave you guys for the person that you lay with. Um, it was making me realize, like, I had a lot of masculine toxicity in there. And also, like, I just have some shit that I got to deal with women, um, how I view women. Um, honestly, like, that, that was a big thing. That, that was a big revelation that helped me be able to release my past, release my exes, because I realized like, um, as a bisexual woman, I wanted to have sex with women, but I didn't want to be in a relationship with women. And I'm like, that's really fucked up that I will fuck a girl, but I don't feel like I can actually have an intimate relationship with her. And then I'm like, oh, if I feel that way and I think that's okay, then oh, I attracted that. So again, it's like, you can't really, it's always like, you want to blame that other person. Like, oh, you used me or you were fucked up. But it's like, no, really my belief about women and how I feel women are useful fucked me up, you know? So it's like, let me just overcome that. And so I know I need to work on being a sister friend. I know that I have never been a good friend. I don't even know how to be a good friend. Um, and I actually... <laughs> I right, sent so my friend, um, my friend Chris No Jedi a message and I was just like, you know, I just want to let you know I love you. I don't know if you know that, but I don't know how to be a good friend, but I want to be better. Like just, I'm just letting people know I appreciate them and I know I have been fucked, fucked up in the past, but it's only because I didn't know no better and I'm trying to do better. So I accepted flaws. Angel number 1901. You love and share the pleasures of life. Walking and Joe. Okay. You love and share the pleasures of life. As a sister friend, you hold others close in their most challenging moments and provide as as look at that. As a sister friend, you hold others close in their most challenging moments and provide as much nurturing as they need. As a sister friend, on the waking path, you are extremely caring. You hold your friendship sacred. You are most often doing things that are about caring, such as cooking a meal, building a fire in the fireplace, praying for others, listening to stories, and giving warm hugs. You invite people to your life. 
You invite people to join you in life's simple pleasures. To you, nurturing is all there is to life. When you are on, when you are on the waking path, you are relaxing in life's pleasures. You are an earth angel. On the sleeping path, a sister friend can find that she rarely receives nurturing. You may be doing caring work out of obligation, reputation, or expectation, but rarely out of just because. You find yourself frustrated in relationships because you are the caregiver and others the receiver. You hunt every, everywhere for someone to hold you. You may even get angry and stop giving. You then become fearful of being sucked up. So you try to control your giving as if rationing out candy, a little for you and a little for me. You may even hold back your loving nature and attempt to not feel or care any longer of, about others. You may turn from a friend into a hermit, leaving everyone wondering where you went. Your self-imposed isolation causes you to hide your angelic nature so there is no need to respond to people. This seclusion only fuels your loneliness. In essence, you have locked and barred the doors to your heart. You may be feeling a little low on the nurturing scale. Are you aware that you might not have shown yourself to need any nurturing? You must show the same vulnerability you see in those nurtured in order to receive such nurturing. You may have shown yourself to be quite capable of taking care of yourself when deep inside you really wish someone would do something for you. Are you in need of nurturing as well? You are in need of nurturing as well. Don't worry about appearing too needy. Are you courageous enough to show the vulnerability you see in those you nurture? When someone you see and feels your needs, <clears throat> when someone can see and feel your needs, the nurturing comes naturally for someone like you. You can take off the stoic or strong mask so that your cheeks can be kissed. Trust that someone will be there for you when you are able to show how human you are, even if you are an angel. Number twenty one forty one, um, and so I feel like what God is saying is that um, maybe a big part of your mystery, maybe a big part of your strength, maybe a fear that you have to face right now is to be vulnerable. It's to show people that you need people and you need to be nurtured and you want to be loved and you want to be appreciated. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that. Like I keep telling you guys, loving. Um, wanting partnership, wanting love, that is like literally the most basic human necessity ever. Like we're not meant to be down here alone. We're not meant to be here by ourselves. And so there's no need for you to be strong. There's no need for you to be like, I don't need nobody. We all need somebody. We don't, you know, we're not meant to be down here alone. Agent number 2222. So I don't know um, what fear you may need to face. Maybe that may be the fear of telling people you need, you need help. Maybe that may be the fear of you stop giving so much of yourself. I don't know what it is, but I feel like what God is saying in order to meet this mountaintop, you have to do something that you've never done before and face your fear. All right, y'all, that is all I have for you. If you made it to the end of this message, please give me a thumbs up. If you made it to the end of this message, you are not subscribed. What are you waiting for? Um, until we meet again, dream those dreams. Never let the internet rush you. And never, ever, ever let someone tell you what you cannot do. See you soon.